Grab a beverage of any kind. This is the sixth annual Pixel Awards. This is the industry's most prestigious award. We're gonna go over the camera of the year. We have two different categories, the best consumer camera of the year, the best all around camera of the year. And I think our camera of the year is going to shock some people. This is a huge upset and the first time for something very important for our Pixel Awards. We're also gonna go over like the best accessories, best drone, best computer, a whole oh. bunch of other things. And the worst, the what the f of the year, the disappointments of the year. Yeah, we had some bad ones in there too, but first let's talk about something good and that's our sponsor, Squarespace. If you want your very own website, portfolio, store, you can make it happen with Squarespace and it's so fast and easy to do. Even our dog could probably do it. But no. if it had those little buttons. Well, it's a poodle. It's the smartest breed, but she's not that good. <laughs> but look, it's the new year, right? Now is the perfect time to reinvent yourself and start by getting your own domain, creating a store. You can take appointments from clients. Just make yourself look great, better than you can on social media. It starts at squarespace.com slash Chelsea. Totally free trial. Just check it out. When you love it, the coupon code Chelsea will get you 10% off. Thanks for Squarespace. We're going into year 10 with our Squarespace sponsorship. I like people to support Squarespace because they support us and that keeps videos coming. <laughs> I like how you say that so factually. You're like, I like people who make it so we still have sponsors. <laughs> Want to be friends? Okay, obviously this is a martini. I don't understand why you got an olive and I didn't. It's because I love you. And this olive had been in the refrigerator for so long. <laughs> and I pulled it out. It's supposed to be a blue cheese olive, but it, that... Even for blue cheese, this was rotten. And I thought, you know what? I want it for effect on camera, but I'm not going to eat that. And I don't feel comfortable giving it to Chelsea. <laughs> so I did not expect truth. that answer. Let's start. <laughs> this up. was thought through. <laughs> we have, we're going to start with the smartphone camera of the year. Oh, and first up, this the runner up. I don't even want to call it a runner up. This was such a letdown. The iPhone 15 Pro Max. No, you don't make the list, iPhone. <laughs> what you a are. disappointment They're this the was. No. Okay, you actually got it. I did not upgrade because they took away that 70 millimeter lens and instead did it like this long telephoto lens. And uh, It's such a pain in the butt. I want to zoom in a little bit and I have to be like, whoa, stay there. I have to walk into the next room. <laughs> I'm going to like be peeking through a window because I have to use a telephoto lens. <laughs> what a letdown. Oh I know. my God, it's the worst. This is why I let you upgrade first. I, I don't deal with disappointment well. But a camera we actually did love was the Sony Xperia 1V. Really versatile, you can use it as a monitor for your camera. It brings like the Sony controls and great image quality, but they added some computational photography. It was a big advancement for Sony, especially. Yeah, they kept creators in mind and I think it was very in line with their customer base. So I was like, mm, this makes sense. The winner is the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Yeah, and it's great. We have to disclose Google sends us the phones yeah. every time they release one. So gift from Google. But we actually really like it. We've done a ton of shooting with it. We have yet to release a review, but it functions well and has a lot of features that serious photographers like, like the ability to get panning shots and such things that make great pictures. Let's talk about the drone of the year. Droney Northrup, you fly your drone almost every day. Mm -hmm. You're always getting shots with it. And so you're quite a drone enthusiast. And this was not a great year for drones. Oh my God. It's like, well, now we have a monopoly with DJI. Nobody else is making any decent drones, and they're not like innovating like crazy. But they put a third lens on the Mavic 3 and released the Mavic 3 Pro, and I use it, and it's great. It's definitely the best lens out there. So I give it the Drone of the Year award. Take a drink. Are you gonna survive that olive? Oh, I am no way am I eating that olive. If it were not submerged in Tito's vodka, there's no way I would even let it near my beverage the things you do let's talk about the lens of the year there were so many great options this year sigma came out with a lot of good lenses i was very I really happy like the with their lens. selection Cameron too but i thought that sony came out with a really cool option and that is a 70 to 20 or a 20 to 70. so they opened up the range from 24 to 20 which was really interesting it's an f4 lens so an f2.8 would be pretty cool but that's still a great lens it's Interesting, it was sharp, the image quality was really good. Good work, Sony. But the winner has to go to this extremely expensive lens. It technically was released in 2022, but we were waiting for it to ship for <laughs> almost a full year. Well, 
You could tell it's a Nikon, probably, right? Yeah, it's the Nikon 600 millimeter F4 TC. And it's, a, it's the TC that makes it win. It is the TC because it has a built-in teleconverter. And if you're a wildlife photographer, you know, you have to remove your whole big lens, slap a TC on your camera, put the lens back on this, you just like you flip a switch. Mm -hmm. and, and, but aside from that, the image quality is very good. Yeah. The lens itself is like light, hand holdable, you know, great image quality. So congratulations, Nikon. Big fan of this new lens. It even had you talking about switching to Nikon. Uh, I'm still, I, I, n soon, stay tuned. Maybe that'll be a separate video. <laughs> All right, let's get a little dark. WTF. What the f First of all, the runner up. Weird things were afoot this year, Tony, because DP Review just shut down. Like Amazon just said, I'm gonna pass. And hey, grab your sh we're throwing it all away. And I was like, what the hell? I've been a, I've been a member of DP Review since before I met you. It's like something like 20 years or something. And I was, then they were just like, it's all going away. It wasn't making us money, we're packing it up. You were distraught. Yeah, and Chris and Jordan, the faces of DP Review TV, they were like, skirt! They were like at Petapixel like within 12 hours. I don't know how they made it so fast. They were gone. They're hot commodities. You guys come here and you wear a white wig and a brown wig and you're the new us if you want. The options open. But they did that and then, oh, they're back. DP Review got put back on. Yeah, they're just like, eh. <laughs> chill out, Tony. It's all fine. All your tears were for nothing. And then Imaging Resource. This was a crazy one. This old website that had been around, I think before DP Review, suddenly there was no announcement. It was just gone from the web. And we're like, what happened to Imaging Resource? It had been bought by a jazz musician who didn't give a <laughs> shit about it. And he was like, this thing's using my electricity. And he just <laughs> unplugs it. And so I write to the guy, I look him up. I write to him, I'm like, Hey, would you mind plugging that back in? Like, it's kind of really important to us. And he puts it back up with a big banner that says, if this is so important to you, pay me $250,000 and you can have it. <laughs> Something that he unplugged, now he expected to get a quarter of a million bucks for. But then somebody did buy it. I don't know how much they paid for it, but they bought it. And they sort of like got it online. And it's, both of these things are still back up, but it was a real like whirlwind for us. Yeah, but that was kind of the most jazz move he could have done. It was very like <laughs> skitty boop pop. Like you didn't know where did he was not, going. Oh, that was do do pop, buddy. <laughs> Give me two hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> boo doo doo. Woo. This is why we don't usually drink. <laughs> <laughs> Another runner up is that Samsung got caught faking the moon. Like, wow, conspiracy <laughs> theorists are going to go crazy. Never this dude on Reddit is just like, hey, man, I got the Samsung S23 Ultra, and you know what? You can just zoom in on a streetlight, and it'll draw a moon right there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's I duplicated. I went through a lot of trouble, and I talked to the guy and everything. And sure enough, it just fakes a moon. It's not even just that it fakes a moon. They put that in all their advertising. This was like the headline was, look how great the moon photos are. And they're just <laughs> fake. It just draws a picture of the moon. <laughs> Why are you always talking to everybody? You're always like I am a journalist. I reach out, OK? I don't just read. I'm not a curator. Okay. I'm a journalist. <laughs> I did talk to the jazz guy and that guy. You're right. OK, the winner. I'm. I'm guessing Tony didn't write these people, is the Phase 1 XC camera. It's a medium format camera. It's 150 megapixels. Sounds it's, great so far. It's $62,000. And it has a fixed lens, which is a 15 millimeter F3.6. So I actually- It's fixed. You're gonna spend $62,000 and you can't change the lens. And it's not like it's a 50 or 24. It's 50 millimeter equivalent. So this is super your wide angle. WTF. I wouldn't even call this a WTF. I would what? just I would say this is the most niche camera of the year. Who even plans a 50 millimeter photo? Like that's like sometimes you might zoom that wide on your 16 you to 35. You crop all of it. They did say you can crop to like 50 millimeters or something and still have like 12 megapixels, but like you're going to use this for street photography. It's huge. $62,000. Insane. What were they thinking? Why don't Crazy. you write them an email and make one less friend? <laughs> <laughs> the trend of the year is text generated AI images. Everybody was doing it. Everybody's profile pictures were AI. Everyone was 
taking their hand at AI photos, asking, can you tell which one is real? Yeah, nobody puts on a suit I anymore. Did that. They just go to the TikTok AI image generating thing and it makes a LinkedIn profile picture for them. Sorry, all photographers. Yeah, some of them look really good. Some of them look really okay, but a lot of them were there. So good job, Trend. The accessory of the year. Oh, there's two of them. One of them you love, one of them I love. Well, I love both of them. But I was really blown away by the TechArt autofocus adapters for Leica lenses, though you can adapt like any manual focus lens. It's so cool because you put this adapter on and it like wiggles in and out. It's like rear, 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 and it gets longer and shorter and that allows these old manual focus lenses to autofocus. I just thought that was so cool. You can put it on Nikon and Sony cameras. That is so cool. That's why he chose it. My winner is Maven Filters because he came out with these magnetic filters where you screw a ring onto your lens and then you just slap on the filter and it clicks on. Full disclosure, Michael is one of my best friends, but he also made these incredible filters. And I was talking to him the whole time he was in China sourcing the most high quality glass and lenses for these uh, filters. So. He put in the work, he worked really hard on them, and he made an excellent product. I recommend checking them out. They're in my camera bag all the time, though. They're my go-to. Yeah, I love them. You know what else I love? My Squarespace website and people who like it. Are you trying to brainwash the folks? I, what are you, I'm just sitting here looking at you talking in a weird voice. Why are you talking <laughs> like that? Well, because Squarespace is our sponsor. They made this podcast possible, but we also really like our Squarespace websites. You should go check mine out. It's chelseanorthrup.com. And it's a place where I go one-up myself. It's a place where I go judge myself. It's a place where I go realize, hey, I thought I had more car pictures than this. I have to get out and shoot more. I'm my own inspiration sometimes, but also... <laughs> Is that I the am most the wind beneath <laughs> my wings? Is that the most Kanye thing I've ever said? One martini and I'm Kanye. Um, Technically, like half a martini. <laughs> one third of a martini and I'm Kanye. Um, you should try it. It's free for 14 days, and then you drag and drop your pictures, and you're gonna be like Kanye too. Uh, check it out, and you can get 10% off. Go to squarespace.com/chelsea. Use the coupon code Chelsea. That's spelled C H E L S E A. And you have to use that coupon code um, or you get in trouble with... With Kanye. Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's jump into the next categories. We're going to talk about computers. We're going to talk about the camera of the year. Yeah, this is the big section. We saved the best for last mm -hmm, because we need mm -hmm. to increase our viewing time. Yeah, we got to stretch that out. <sighs> oh, man. Computers, Are they have been... Are you not entertained? What? They've been so boring. They're... But... Anyway, I upgraded mm -hmm. to the MacBook M3 Max. Yeah. It's super expensive, but oh my God, is it good. It's got That's the good. big screen. It like true tone. The colors are right all the time. It's super bright. The battery lasts forever. It's faster than any PC. Whoa. I, I got to hand it to Apple. Like it's, they're not blowing me away with the big differences, but it's definitely the good. best computer out there. So the M3 Max MacBook Pro. You just brace yourself for the comments from the Mac haters. Yeah, just don't read those. Let's talk about the biggest disappointments of the year because we have a little bit of fun being negative, don't we? All right, first of all, the runner up is the Nikon ZF. And you're probably thinking, why don't you like that camera? You it's haven't even we don't reviewed have it, Chelsea. It. It's because we don't have it. We ordered one in September. Day one, like hour one, as soon as it was available, I pre ordered one. But I saw it. And uh, I wanted the special, like, orange leather. Yeah. Because I thought this is form over function, right? Yes. I wanted to be, I want to get the attractive one so I can get the full experience. I was excited about this one. It's actually the direction I wanted to see Nikon go in. It's yeah. like beautiful, it's got that vintage look, it harkens back to their history. But and then mid October, I just get an email being like, uh, your order was canceled. I'm like, what? Why did you cancel my order? And I call up support and I'm like, hey, why'd you guys cancel my order? And they're like, we don't know why we canceled your order, but they're shipping right now. So just go on the website and order it. We'll ship it like right away. So I go do that and it still has not shipped. And that was mid-October. 
And that was mid-December. Well, maybe you should make better reviews. <laughs> Have you thought about that? Send me a ZF. It looks cool. I'll, I bought the lens. Let, we'll just go to the store. Oh, wait. You can't. We live nowhere near a store. <laughs> All right. The second runner up is the Canon R1, which doesn't exist, but why? We've all been waiting for it. WTF now stands for where the f is the Canon R1? Is it since the A? Well, it was this is disappointment. Like three years ago. Where is it? I don't know. We predicted it's going to come out in April, but before that, we predicted it was going to come out another time. So it might not exist. Canon, you need a flagship. What are you doing? Did you see I put it on a milk carton? Do you even care about the passion and the skills I bring to this fast-paced environment? Chelsea, I care about missing kids. <laughs> I don't think you need to be diminishing their struggle. Okay? You <laughs> didn't even get... age it up. <laughs> Please don't get me canceled. But the winner of the disappointments of the year is, again, third year in a row. No anti-theft technology. Nobody cares. We're out here getting robbed, shook down. And we're just like, hey, could you like stick an air tag in there? It costs like 15 bucks. Just like give us an air tag so maybe we can track this down. No, just like, make no, it no. less desirable to steal. They're steal. just like, here, buy this $6,000 camera, buy this $14,000 lens. And if somebody uh, wants to take it because they like money, then it's theirs. It's theirs. They can just sell it freely. There's we're nothing. There's nothing to stop people from stealing and selling your stuff. And nobody cares. They won't even return I our calls. I care. Who are you calling? Are you emailing more people? I emailed all the camera manufacturers and I'm like, can we just please talk about anti-theft? They, nothing. They probably, that's For probably years. why they canceled your order. Probably so. But there are things you can do. We have a whole video on that. You should definitely get insurance. We have recommendations. So you, they aren't helping you, but there are things you can do. Okay, let's go to our next category. The back to the, back to the positive stuff. The vlogging camera of, of the, the year. year. Anybody doing video? The ZVE1, an excellent overall video camera, but mm -hmm. it did not win because it was sort of blown away by an unexpected competitor, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. What was with this? Because we got it to try it and I did not have high hopes for this thing. Well, it's a $500 camera and we're fancy people. All our cameras are like $3,000 or more. Right? You have a rotting olive, so you're not that fancy. <laughs> Calm down. I just thought that it would be more of like a consumer level, not that impressive thing, but it blew us away. The video quality was really great. They had some very innovative features. They really thought about the consumer experience. I was super impressed. You were super impressed and therefore they are winning the vlogging camera of the year. Yeah, we filmed several videos with it and nobody complained and it's like $500 and I can literally fit it in my pocket. Amazing. The innovation of the year, the greatest new technology to be released this year and it was a big year. This was a big innovation. The runner up is the DJI Waypoints and you've been using those all of the time. I just think it's so cool that you can have a flying camera that follows the exact same path over you know multiple hours multiple days multiple seasons multiple years you could watch a building build itself you could switch from day to night or summer to winter in a single video such a cool technology with so much potential i made a whole tutorial literally nobody watched it because they just want more megapixels or something literally nobody or that's just how you felt i shouldn't have said literally there you're right. Some people watched it, but not many people watched it. It wasn't a big hit, but it's probably helpful. And that's what I find happens all of the time. I think it's a cool piece of tech because it also opens up creative possibilities. Mm -hmm. And I love when I see tech that allows creators to be more creative. Yeah, it changed the way I shot this year. The other runner up is Leica with content credentials. And this is in their, this is in their newest camera and what it basically does is it's a way to combat AI. It lets you show in your metadata that this is an actual picture instead of one that's been edited with AI or something. So that's very cool. But the winner is, of course, the first sports camera with a global shutter. Zero millisecond readout speed, the Sony A9 Mark III. The global shutter. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I feel it, like we should have more to say about it. Well, we made a whole video on it. It is very cool and it opens the doors for a lot of technology in the future as well. So 
Of course, it has cool features. You've probably seen it in all the A9 III uh, reviews and videos, but it also tells us about things that are going to happen in the future of photography. We have a podcast on that, so you could check it out. But congratulations, Sony, on your first global shutter in a stills camera. It'll definitely go in the history books. When we make some future history of photography video, mm -hmm. that will be a When we're like 90 and we have the future, the history of Sony, it will be in there. So that was a big win for Sony, but the flop of the year also goes to Sony. Really? What do you have in here? I, whew, this was a rough one. It was the Sony a6700, which is a totally fine camera. It's a compact APS-C camera. Yeah, it's a good camera. Why are you calling it a flop? Well, first, the rumors were misleading. Oh. Which we shouldn't listen to rumors, right? But the rumors were saying it was going to be a baby A1. And I love my Sony A1. So you got your hopes up. So I thought it was going to be like a great sports and wildlife camera. And then it was still just, it was like 10 frames per second, 26 megapixels. It was like a fine camera. But it was released shortly after Canon launched the Canon R7, which was 30 frames per second, 33 megapixels. It just, it wasn't what we hoped and it didn't compete. That's why I got the flop of the year. Let's go into our big categories. We have the last two here. We have the consumer camera of the year and the camera of the year. So first let's do the consumer camera of the year. And the runner up is the Sony A7C II. It's light, it's compact, it's 33 megapixels. It's got great image quality and you can make it a compact setup. You can put a bigger lens on it. Mm -hmm. It's fun. I loved this camera. Great autofocus, yeah. yeah. And they offer it in Chrome, which is great on cameras and terrible mm -hmm. cars. But the winner. This camera actually blew me away, mostly because of the price point. Like, this could have been a $3,000 camera. The Canon R8. Oh my god, so much camera for the money. Full yeah. frame, 4K, 60 frames per second. Amazing autofocus. I've been recommending this to so many people. Canon is crushing it with the price points. Like, look at you on the lenses. But their camera bodies, yeah. absolutely amazing. And the Canon R8, congratulations. The consumer camera of the year. Now, the biggest category of the Pixel Award oh, Show. this is big. And this is the professional camera of the year. We have a runner-up first. Before we, we get to the actual winner, this is an upset. I was sure this was going to win. Well, we changed our mind last minute. Yeah, I've been going back and forth about this. The runner up that we thought would be the winner is the Sony A9 III. And this is the best sports camera ever, I think. It's got the global shutter, it's got 120 frames per second blackout free. It's packed with features. It's absolutely mind blowing. I've never been so torn about a camera of the year because the A9 III, which we're reviewing now, absolutely amazing yeah but but there was another and when we were at the a93 event we actually brought some other cameras we thought might compete to shoot side by side and when we reviewed the results we discovered maybe there was something that was really good that should get the camera of the year so our winner of the camera of the year which i think will surprise people based on our past videos. And this is a historic moment because we actually have two winners for the camera of the year. I couldn't choose just one. They're kind of twin cameras. They're almost identical. The winners are the Nikon Z8 and Z9. Wow. Okay, but it's important to note, it's the Nikon Z9 with the 4.1 firmware. Right, because the Nikon Z9 did not come out this year. And the year that it did come out, it did not win Camera of the Year. We reviewed it. We thought it was a totally capable camera, but it wasn't the best. It wasn't quite ready, in my opinion. The firmware wasn't ready, but Nikon didn't accept that. They thought, we can make it better. They listened to all the criticisms from us and other people, and they kept improving it. And you know what? We kept installing those firmware updates to the point where the Z9 and the Z8, which are almost indistinguishable cameras, have become amazing cameras. I think that they should get the glow up of the year as well because they just kept improving these cameras from mm, they're good to wow, these are great. And so congratulations Nikon. The Z8 is extremely versatile. We've been using it to shoot wildlife with that 600 F4 lens that we gave the lens of the year. 
Uh, they work really well. They're a great combo. We've been shooting them side, side, side by side with the Sony A1, with the A93, mm -hmm. with a bunch of other cameras. And we are so impressed with the progress that Nikon has made. If you recall, we did not like Nikon's first mirrorless cameras. No, they weren't ready. And I am so happy to say that they've come a long way. So once again, congratulations, Nikon. The Z8 and Z9 are cameras of the year. Tony, I think you should eat your old olive to atone for your sins of the past. It's not the sins of the past. It wasn't good before. They made it better. No, the people won't accept it. The people hated your opinion. The people want you to eat the olive. Look, if you're a rational person, conditions, <laughs> circumstances change, then your opinion should change. Circumstances change. They fixed the problems. They made it better. We are acknowledging that. I don't want to die, Chelsea. I don't deserve to die for this. Okay, he's not going to eat the olive. Mm -mm. I'll do it. You're going to eat that olive? I'm the sin eater. <laughs> sin eater. Oh, that's a good choice. <laughs> Is that a mistake? <laughs> you don't have to go through with this, Chels. You made this thing up. It's not a requirement. <laughs> this only exists in your head. Why did you do that? Yeah, wash that down with vodka. I've limped enough. The person of the year award is me. <laughs> <laughs> Kanye Jr. for eating a rotten olive. Woo! Bye, suckers. Thank you, Squarespace, for making this podcast possible where we eat rotten food and judge what we want. If you want to see more of this content, you should subscribe. You should share it with your friends. <laughs> I don't know that you completely satisfied the Squarespace sponsorship requirements. <laughs> if you want a website of your own, if you want your own domain name, your own store, if you want to make yourself look great instead of just what social media presents, head to squarespace.com slash Chelsea. Get your free trial. I promise you'll love it. Then the coupon code Chelsea will get you 10% off. Oh man, from the progression from the beginning to the end of this video, you're gonna have to rewatch this video because you are falling apart. I can't believe I have to edit this. Your martini was so watered down. I tell you, it's at least three quarters water. I don't even really drink anymore. This is so much for me. I'm crying. In the comments, tell us what you hated about this. Tell us what you <laughs> loved about this. And uh, thanks and bye. <laughs>